This is Sam. He's going to walk you through completing an air moisture test using the Champion 35 test kit. Step 1. If a moisture sample is to be obtained, go to Moisture Sampling and perform the test before continuing with this air sampling test. Allow your compressor to run with air flowing from the sampling point, which is located here, for at least five minutes before sampling. While that's running, grab your data sheets, which are located behind the foam lid. Step 2. Record the orifice plate size on the data sheet under Oil Mist Particulate Sample Data. To install or check the size of the installed orifice plate, unscrew the multi-hold noise muffler. The orifice plate is the aluminum disc with a hole in it. The size is imprinted on it. If you are unable to obtain the optimum PSI, change the size of the orifice plate. Step 3. Record the filter number. To find that number, remove a filter assembly from the filter case and carefully locate the number on the screen. The number is found on the side of the filter assembly opposite of the white filter pad, as shown here. Record this information on the data sheet under Oil Mist Particulate Sample Data. Make sure you don't touch the filter pad, so handle the filter assembly by the sides. Step 4. In your test kit, you will have input fittings that look like this. So first, connect the input fitting to the flow section if it is not connected. Assemble the sampling equipment as follows. Unscrew the PVC flow section and place one filter assembly in between the PVC flow section with white filter pad facing out as shown here. Put the two halves of the PVC flow section together. Make sure all equipment is securely tightened. Do not insert a sampling cylinder yet. Step 5. Connect the complete unit to your gas source. Open the gas source valve slowly and allow the pressure on the flow section gauge to stabilize in the specified PSI range. Run the sample according to the time specified on your instruction sheet. Step 6. Choose and record a sample cylinder. Only one sample per location is required with the metal cylinders. Record the cylinder barcode number on the data sheet under Gas Sample Data. Insert the cylinder onto the Quick Connect fitting just above the pressure gauge by pressing the cylinder straight down onto the fitting while supporting the flow section with your other hand. Remove the knurled nut from the opposite end of the sample cylinder. Gas should flow through the sample cylinder for at least 30 seconds. Do note that the pressure gauge reading will drop during this sampling. Do not adjust the pressure on your system while the cylinder is in place. Replace the knurled nut after 30 seconds. Do note here that the knurled nut should be replaced tightly, but finger tighten only. Use no tools, as over tightening will destroy the sample. While the gas is still flowing from your source, remove the sampling cylinder by pressing down on the quick connect fitting. Allow the filter to run for the remainder of its specified time. Step 7. You have just completed the air sampling cylinder quick connect version procedure. If you are not doing any additional sampling, turn off the gas source valve and disassemble the sampling equipment. Return each part to your kit. Place the filter into the case. Check that the data sheets have been filled out correctly. Step 8. The final step is to ship back the data sheets and kit to TRI Air Testing. Shipping instructions are included in your kit. After shipping the kit back, there's nothing left to do except wait for the results. You will get a reminder when it's time for your next air test. For any questions and additional support, go to airtesting.com to contact us.